Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I quickly edit this picture in Lightroom entirely. And so here we go. All right, so this is the image. I don't like the landscape feel. I just want uh, to focus more on the subject. So I'm going to uh, make this uh, portrait mode. So I'm going to hit this box right up here and I'm going to hit the X key and then looks about right to me. I'm going to change the aspect ratio to 8 by 10 just so you know that it can fit on Instagram or wherever else you want to post it easily. And that's it. So uh, so basically I'm just going to work my way from top to bottom and uh, just so I don't miss anything. Um, okay, so white balance, I'm going to um, bring this guy up a little bit. Yeah, something like that looks good. Uh, the tint, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. So I'm pretty much just pulling until I'm satisfied and then I stop. So, all right, that looks about right. And then I'm going to bring up the exposure. Sometimes it's good to do the exposure first so that you can actually see the color balance you are using, but I kind of make up for it. So, all right, that looks about right. Uh, let me go back here and then open up this image more so that we can have the, the whole sky in there because I like the I like the sky all right there okay now let's give it a little bit of contrast that might be a little too much but I think I like it the way it is okay now highlights I'm just gonna hold off for the highlights right now um, usually if I don't use uh, off camera flash I just bring my highlights all the way down but if you do that to an off camera flash picture you just kill the image like there see kill it you don't want that so I'm gonna leave that in the middle for now I might bring it up or down just a little bit at the end so shadows I'm gonna bring up the shadows a little bit because the hair here is dark and um, I'm going to bring up the shadows to right around Something like that looks okay. And then I'm going to bring the the whites just a tad. Something like that up. Something like that looks good. And this is just an old habit. I always like to do plus five clarity and plus five or whatever. Plus five vibrance. Now, this is a quick edit, so we're not gonna do any tone, curve, whatnot. So pretty much at this point, you are almost done with your edit. And if you hit the before and after, you see how much of a difference this is. But let's go give it a little pop. So here I'm going to go all the way down to calibration. Under calibration, I'm going to um, uh, pull up the saturation on the blues a little. And you can see that almost instantly, uh, the, the colors are just becoming more vibrant and uh, the blues affect all the colors. So if you do this and the blues are too strong for your liking, what you can do is you can bring this up and then you go to the HSL color panel and then actually reduce the saturation on the blues just a little bit. So at this point, the color is decent and um, image is decent, but this is how we finish it off. So let's get a, a brush and uh, i'm going to brush the whole face i just like to bring the exposure all the way down instead of using the old mask and once i brush the whole face double click the exposure back to the middle and then i'm going to increase the exposure ever so slightly until i'm uncomfortable there this is a little too bright for her eyes i will stop there okay now now i'll come down to range mask and then I'll go to luminance. And then um, I made a tutorial on this, which is more detailed. If you haven't seen that, it's gonna pop up right here. So this is almost like taking your sweet time and doing a dodge on it for like half an hour. So you pull this bar to the right. And one thing I've learned is that when I pull this back a little bit, it helps me. So you pull this to the right. And what it does is that it's it only focuses on the 
brighter areas and brings the mid the mid bright areas closer to the brighter areas i don't know if that makes sense but that's pretty much like dodging but it's a very mild form of dodging and then you hit the smoothness button here and then you pull the smoothing all the way up and that makes it more gradual so the next thing i do is uh so for this picture i don't i don't need to burn because i feel i'm satisfied with the shadows um but it could be better if i if i did a burn but this is a fast edit and uh, i don't have time so all right so for the next thing i'm going to zoom in a little bit more and then i am going to do a little bit of a spot remover so when you hit a spot remover you come down to hit the visualized spots now it has a little bar here you can pull back and forth and this is kind of like the cheating uh mask you put on photoshop when you are doing dodge and burn but it's not very accurate but it helps you you know from here you can see all the blemishes and stuff so i do it every now and then just to see where i need to go fix and then i just come here and i have it on heel and then i go ahead and in fact i i really don't need to take I really don't need to do this for this image because I'm not trying to do too much to it. And then finally, before I hit done, uh, I will just brush this and then, okay, so this is like the worst face paint job I've ever done, but we're going to go with that. So all I'm doing is painting the face and dropping down the texture on the face and bringing down the texture quite uh, quite a lot but it's not clarity it's texture so what it does is that it's kind of like some sort, sort of frequency separation it keeps the the texture on the face but the the ones that stand out the most are kind of uh, smoothed out and so with a combination of that plus the luminance mask plus the spot remover, plus the calibration, the image, you can get it from uh, uh, where we started from to this. So this is the before and this is the after. So uh, if you have enjoyed this, please, please subscribe and, uh, you know, keep me motivated and let me create some more stuff while we're all stuck here in a, um, quarantine or self-isolation if you want to get technical. Alright, thank you for watching, stay tuned and uh, keep shooting.